Jesus Christ, we have gathered here today in your name. Through our hope and faith of your ears who are attentive to our cry. We ask you, God, for wisdom, for mercy and grace. We ask you to fulfill these words today in our lives. Restore us, God. Restore us, Jesus, our body, our mind, and our soul. Restore us, Lord. For with you we shall do valiantly. When you are our strength, Father, we cannot fail. For we know that with you all knowledge is obtainable. All wisdom is yours and the understanding of it. So we trust in you, Father. And we ask that you would guide us through your light to a place of everlasting peace. In the holiest of all names, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you. Amen. Hello, my friends. We have gathered here today in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. He's alive. Today, my friends, I want to give you a little bit of hope and a little bit of courage. Sometimes we, we feel left alone. We, we feel like we don't matter. Sometimes in, in life, we, we feel as though... Nobody on earth can, can understand us, can, can get the way we are. We're, we're like a, a lone, you know, we're lone rangers because just there's something about us that, that other people just can't understand. God has put a desire in our heart, a dream in our mind. And boy, if, if the whole world could just understand that dream, things would, would, would miraculously change. Yet it is only this vessel, it is only this temple which that dream has been placed, which that desire has been placed. And yet nobody can understand it. Because nobody can understand it, well, I'm, I'm just a little bit weird. I'm just different. And, uh, you know, it just don't get me. Sometimes in life, we or abused, or broken, but by the people who, who were entrusted to take care of us, to make sure we were never abused and we were never broken. Surely they, they could just understand. They could just listen. If they could just come into my heart and mind, then they would know how truly lonely I am. Yet, yet how truly lonely I am, but how truly worthy I am to be known, to be acknowledged, to, to exist. But the abuse and the violence that I've seen, witnessed, and maybe absorbed tells me different. It says I don't matter. It says I can't trust. And everything that I thought I could love began to hate me. What can I trust? Right. Sometimes in that we, we, we lock ourselves in and there's a little child that, that, that was broken or violated, hurt. Could have been way back when, and now I'm 30, now I'm 40, now I'm 25, whatever it is, but, but way back when, as a little child, there I was broken. There I was hurt. There I lost my confidence. There I lost my self-esteem. There I lost my self-worth. Right. Most daughters who are beaten and violated and verbally abused by their fathers, most daughters who are this, treated this way by their fathers, then grow up and find a husband who treats them the exact same way because they believe, they know, this is, must be the truth, this is how it is, this is how people treat one another, isn't it? Because this is all I know. And in that I, I begin to feel rejected, hurt, lonely, 
And so I put up a, a wall of protection all around me. And my wall of protection is to stay in my room, to stay in my bed, to stay away from this world because everything in this world is out to hate, kill, and to steal, and destroy. But love, I don't know. Care, well, if I could afford it. I want to tell you the truth. That, 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 that in the same way Jesus Christ in spirit seeks and searches throughout the world, throughout this universe, for the hearts and minds of the broken, of the lonely, of the left behind. Of those who think they do not matter. I want to restore your hope today. Let us read and go through God's word. God's promise. God's reality. Psalm 66 says. Shout for joy to God all the earth sing. The glory of his name, give him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies come cringing to you. All the earth worships you and sings praise to you. They sing praises to your name. All the earth worships God. All the earth and everything that's been created has creation because it was when God spoke, everything came. And life began. Sometimes when we have a plan in our heart and a desire that's put in us that, that, that nobody can understand, but it is because God has set you apart from all the rest. And that's why they can't understand. That's why they don't get you. Because you have been set apart from the rest. You have been taken out of all the rest of God's creation and all the things that we can see, feel, and touch, but you have been deemed worthy of something great, of something holy, to, to be a part of God's inheritance, an everlasting life. And in that everlasting life, all the creation of God sings joy and praise to him. Don't ever think that the devil is in control of this earth or has control over your life. For the enemies come cringing to you. They'll come cringing to the Lord our God, yet God lives in you. The enemies of God cringe at your sight. see what God has done. He is awesome in his deeds toward the children of man. He turned the sea into dry land. He turned, he, they passed through the river on foot. There did we rejoice in him who rules by might forever, whose eyes keep watch on the nations. Not let the, re let not the rebellious rebellious exalt themselves. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. Who has kept our soul among the living and has not let our feet slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid a crushing burden on our back. You let men ride over our heads. We, we went through the fire and through the water, yet you have brought us out into a place of abundance. And I will come into your house with burnt offerings. Right? If we could just say these things, if we could just admit that, that, that God has brought us to a place of abundance, God has delivered us into life. We exist because God is. Yet sometimes we're complaining when we don't understand that, that everything we have been given has been given to us by God. The terrors, the fears, the torment, 
all of it. The people on the earth that, that are unwilling to, to understand or get who you are, who think you're weird or strange, all of that is a gift from God. And then all of it, it, it tries us and it proves who we truly are. And in it, God's love is manifested as he seeks us day and night, knocking at our door. Let me in. Let me in. Says to that little child lost in, in our hearts that's so afraid, so uncomforted, can't come out of their room, can't come out of their, their, their secret spot. Because in that spot you're so comforted. And Jesus Christ says, stand up, child, and be a part of my life. So stand up, child, and fear no man, for they can only destroy a body. Yet I, God, give life, and I, God, can take life away. And he says, I, God, am your father. And don't be afraid. For it is my good pleasure to make you. And if you could raise your eyes and understand that, that these are the words of God. O kingdom of earth, sing to God. Sing praises to the Lord, to him who rides in the heavens, the ancient heavens. Behold, he sends out his voice, his mighty voice, ascribe power to him, whose majesty is over Israel and whose power is in the skies. Awesome is God from his sanctuary, the God of Israel. He is the one who gives power and strength to his people. Blessed be God. Right? We go on to read. Oh, excuse me, that was, uh, we got off and page flipped over. He says, this is Jesus speaking to us. Right? This is the spirit of the living word of God speaking to us. That this is how much value you have. This is how much you matter. This is how much you care to God. And listen to these words. I will come into your house with burnt offerings. I will perform my vows to you that my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. Even when the world and all the sins and the burdens of sin was crashing down on Jesus, he promised, I will not condemn you. I will not seek your sins, but I will seek your life. For your life has an everlasting joy to, to God's heart. And when he was in trouble, he says, I will offer to you burnt offerings of fat animals. For for you, this is how much you matter to the living God that he will kill the fattened calf and burn offerings for, for you. It's no accident that, that we are here speaking together. There's no accident that, that you have a desire in your heart to even listen to these words. Because it is God who does these things for you on your behalf. With the smoke of the sacrifice of rams, I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Come in here, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and on high praises was on my tongue. This is the spirit of the living God, Jesus Christ, that lives in you. As it cried out to the living God and had high praises on his tongue, that this one matters. This one's not going to be lost. This one I love with all my heart, God, don't let this one perish. Save this one. Save that one. God. He said, if I had iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened to me. But, but God knows the hearts and minds that he said, save this one. He's worthy. 
And if there's any iniquity in Jesus Christ, God would not have listened. But here we are today. She says to you, here I stand knocking. Arise, child. Stand up, my child. For you exist because I live and he, and, and he lives. He lives in you. The Lord would not have listened, but truly God has listened. He has attended the voice of my prayer, says Jesus. Blessed be God because he has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me, says Jesus. You couldn't be because Jesus is the author of all life. Yet God said have life. And you existed. And you became to be. God swirling over a mess of darkness, a mess of nothingness, says that's the one who pleases me. And God did not reject the prayer of Jesus Christ or the voice of God that says, live, arise. I care for you and I, and I love you with all my heart, my soul. And God did not reject that love that gave you life. Psalm 68 says, God shall rise, his enemies shall be scattered, and those who hate him shall flee before him. Jesus Christ arised back to life. Our God in heaven, our Father who provides salvation, our Father who doesn't look at our sins, her wrongdoings, her bitterness. God only looks at the word of Jesus Christ who said to him, this one, is worthy of praise. This one is worthy to be loved. This one is worthy of the fan cap. Father, give life to this one. As smoke is driven away, so you shall drive them away. As wax melts before fire, so the wicked shall perish before God. But the righteous shall be glad. They shall exult before God. They shall be jubilant with joy. Sing to God praises to his name. Lift up a song to him who rides through the deserts. His name is the Lord. Exult before him. Jesus Christ is both Lord and Savior, and all people who call upon his name, anyone and everyone who believes in him, shall be saved, are saved. Not just you, but everybody in your household, saved. Saved. Because the love of God truly wishes to save not only you, but everybody who helped form you into the mighty warrior you are today. A wicked man, a wicked stuff is, is an unbeliever. And on this day, on today, no longer be an unbeliever. But today, on this day, I will be God's son. I will be God's daughter. For it is his voice that gave me life. Me life. Father of the fatherless and protector of widows is God in his holy inhabitation. God settles the solitary in home. He leads out the prisoners to prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in parched lands. 
Some people see all the world and everything and, and all the problems of the world and the troubles of the world and all I can focus on is abuse and the abuse I received and the abuse that I see being given out. And surely, surely that abuse and the destruction and the power of Satan is greater than the power of God, which is unseen. Some people go away and they lock themselves away and I'm so afraid. So afraid. I can't come out. Because I'm so afraid I can't come out and I'm stuck in a state of bitterness. And I can't come out. Because the bitterness and the fear have now become friends. Rebellious. God gave me life. My life has more value than a piece of paper. My life has more value than silver or gold. My life doesn't depend upon idols and statues and cars and homes. My existence is because of his love for us. And if I could believe that, if I could just grab on to the power of the living God, the power of God that, that creates universes, that that can blow out a star from his nose, that power, if I could just understand and believe that it lives in me. And I had the power to move mountains. I had the power to do all things. For it is God who attentively hears my prayer. And it is God who is desperately trying to prove to each one of us, yes, my child, yes, my child, the fattened calves, the sacrifices, are all love, grace, and mercy, and acknowledgement that, that, that God called you to life. God brought you into existence. Oh God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earthquake, the heavens, poured down rain before God, the one of Sinai, before God, the God of Israel, rain in abundance, oh God, you shed abroad. You restore your inheritance as in the language, as it languished. Your flock founding, found a dwelling in it. In your goodness, O oh God, you provided for the needy. The Lord gives the word, and the woman who announces the news are a great host. The king, the kings of the armies, they flee, they flee. The women at home divide the spoil. Though men lie among the sheepfolds, the wings of a dove covered with silver, its pinions with shimmering gold. When the Almighty scatters kings there, let snow fall on Zalom. O mountain of God, mountain of Bashan, many peaked mountains, mountains of Bashan. Why do you look with hatred, O many peaked mountains, at the mount that God desired? for his abode, yes, where the Lord will dwell forever. The Lord will dwell forever in the land of Zion, that city which was built for David, where David dwells, where David lives. There's no greater place on earth, no place that God desires more in his heart than to dwell in your temple. In the temple made by God's hand. Before you came to be, God knew you. When you were in your mama's womb being knitted together, it was God who gave you your eyes, your hair. God counts every hair on your head. He has not forgotten you. He has not forsaken you. God comes and sends his messengers and says, Hey, I've heard your prayer. Not forgotten. In fact, I love you. I want to deliver it. Heard your prayer. Deliver us out of the hand of the evil one. Deliver us all, not just us, but the whole world. And God said, Amen. Amen. Right. This 
The chariots of God are twice ten thousand. Ten thousand upon ten thousands. The Lord is among them. Sinai is now in sanctuary. You ascend on high leading a host of captives in your train. And receiving gifts among them. Even among the rebellious. That the Lord God may dwell there. Our God will be known as Emmanuel. Our righteousness will be known as our God. In our God is our faith. In our faith is where we find our hope. And when we call upon the mountain of the living God, let thy kingdom come. Let the power of thy kingdom dwell with us. Surely, surely God shall answer that. And if we ask for the Holy Spirit, won't God answer that? So we ask you, Jesus Christ, in the name of the living God, come and baptize us in your spirit. Baptize us with your faith. Restore us, O oh Father, so we may rise back to life and live without fear. For we know today, on this day, that you, God, you, Jesus Christ, have deemed this house holy, 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 to your name. And we praise you, Father. We praise you, Jesus Christ, for the holiness that he brings to this temple. Our Father, who lives in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us, Father, for we have sinned and we are unworthy of your grace and your mercy. But nevertheless, Father, it is pleasing for us and pleasing to you that we have forgiven our enemies. Although they come cringing to us, we will not judge them. We will not condemn them. For in you we have life. And in you, we have courage to stand up against it. For we shall never die. And it will always be now. Now and forever. For your kingdom and your glory is the worthiest of all things. And we seek these things. Deliver us, God, out of the hands of the evil one. In the name of our Father, Kiss us lie. Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. See you next time.